Cristiano Ronaldo's interview was back out of order and Manchester United icon wants to be sacked, says Jamie Carragher. Have a listen to this. Yeah, he wants to be sacked. I, I think that that's obvious. He told the club in the summer he wanted to leave. So I'm not sure where this this disrespect comes from Eric Tan Hag. I just don't get this at all. But, you know, he wants... I, I think he's disrespecting Man United and Eric Tan Hag. He, he wanted to leave in the summer, which is football. These things happen. Players want to you know, come and go at different times. But he wanted to leave. There was no takers because maybe of his wages, maybe a price Manchester United wanted. And I think he knows that's going to be the same in this next transfer window or maybe the following summer. And I think he's now trying to basically be sacked or allowed to leave on a free by the club because, as I said, that's the only way he's going to get out. Yeah, he wants to be sacked. Look, I mean, Jamie Carragher has come out and just basically uh, said what he said. He just he just listened to it. I mean, there's no question that Cristiano has disrespected a Manchester United. But let's not forget that Eric Ten Hag has done the same thing as well. Uh, when we actually got hammered by Manchester City, Ten Hag never brought Cristiano on. And after the game, when he was asked why he didn't bring him on, he said, I didn't want to disrespect him. And then a couple of weeks later, Manchester United are winning against Tottenham. And he tells them to come on three minutes left of the game. I mean, I'm sorry, but you cannot have it both ways, Eric Ten Hag. Either you think it's disrespectful to do that or you don't. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Let's continue to listen to what uh, Jamie Carragher has to say about Cristiano's uh, full interview. Uh, interview. Or move him on, uh, whether that's giving him a free transfer. I think they should just, I think they should sack him or move him on, uh, whether that's giving him a free transfer because at the moment they're trying to build something that is, is not ready to win you know the Premier League or the Champions League right now but they've got a manager who in the next two or three years is going to want to really push for those honours and Ronaldo's not going to be around now and he's going to be a distraction this is not going to go away and as soon as a player comes out and says he doesn't respect the manager I mean how is that going to work when he walks into the first day of you know the, you know, the, the start of uh, you know the season again after the World Cup so I, it can't work that going forward again the be people taking pictures we'll be looking for interviews on sky from the manager we'll be asking about ronaldo you don't need the hassle and that's exactly why i said 18 months ago it was a massive mistake to bring ronaldo to the club because this was always going to happen it was always going to end like this he couldn't accept being a sub which in some ways i admire you know he's got that he's got that drive and that's what's made him the great player he is but this was always going to happen at some stage and blow up in united's face and that's why it was a massive mistake to bring him in the first place I, think I mean, to be honest with you, I don't usually agree with what Jamie Carragher says, but I agree with Jamie Carragher here that Cristiano has to leave now. I mean, he is a big distraction to the team and the manager. I don't see a way back. There is no way back. How is he going to resolve this issue with Eric Ten Hag? Uh, I only see one ending to this saga, and that is Cristiano Ronaldo leaving Manchester United, in my opinion. My opinion, though, it was never a mistake uh, to, to bring him back to the Manchester United 18 months ago just because the team suffered last season and had to sack an amateur, a manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and hire a sporting director who's never coached a team in the past decade. I think that's Ralph Ragnick. It doesn't make uh, signing Cristiano uh, wrong. Uh, Cristiano has been player of the season last season uh, for Manchester United. He scored over 24 goals in that awful Manchester United team. So don't tell me it was a mistake actually signing Cristiano Ronaldo. But let's continue to listen to what uh, uh, Jamie Carragher has to say. I think Ronaldo gets respect from everyone as a player. No one can not respect Ronaldo for what he's doing. He's one of the greatest players of all time, and I'm sure Eric Ten Hag had that respect. But there has been no respect going the other way in terms of, you know, he wanted to leave. He has, you know, refused to come on as a substitute. Then he's left before the game finished. He did that also in a pre-season game as well. Eric Ten Hag made him captain. 
at Aston Villa a couple of weeks ago uh, as well. So I don't get this sort of, of, of lack of respect uh, on either way, really. But I, I think the respect there for, for Ronaldo is there for everybody to see. But I just, uh, I think that the manager, to be fair, has played an absolute blinder in how he's dealt with Ronaldo from day one. You know, he's not got involved in, in too much. He's disciplined him and he's refused to come on. That sends a message to the rest of the dressing room. And in some ways, yes, this is a nightmare for United right now because it's all the focus when it should be on the team. But I think Eric Ten Hag can just sit back and just let this play out and just think, I've done my job. You know, he, he's he's hating himself now, Ronaldo. It's not up to the club to do anything negative or the manager say anything negative about him. He's digging his own hole, you know, and the, the supporters aren't daft. <laughs> It's incredible. I mean, it's it's really incredible why this guy keeps going on on Cristiano. I really, really don't understand. Uh, he made he talked about him being a captain for that game against Aston Villa, the one we lost. He made him a captain because he has no choice. I mean, Maguire and Bruno didn't start in that uh, in that game, uh, and and also I don't think this is uh, coming out uh, has hurt. Cristiano Ronaldo, I really don't think so. I don't think he's digging his own hole here, Carragher. I mean, Cristiano has nothing to lose uh, in this moment in time. Uh, Ronaldo has been completely destroyed all season. Uh, this season, I'm talking about by certain media and fans, and to a certain extent by Eric Ten Hag as well. It can't get any worse than what it actually is now. Cristiano wants the truth. To come out. Cristiano wants Manchester United to get back to where they actually belong, which is complete, uh, which is competing for big titles. The reason why Cristiano is doing the interview is so that the whole world needs to see and understand what is going on behind the scene at Manchester United and how that must change. Uh, Carragher hasn't actually stopped there. I mean, he also had a, a, a dig on Rio Ferdinand, Roy Keane, and Patrice Evra. Let me just quickly show you guys what he actually said uh, uh, on those players. Uh, here it is. So he says, 99% of United fans will be on the side of Eric Ten Hag, which shows how badly uh, Ronaldo has handled this. The 1% will be Rio, Roy, and Patrice Evra, I mean, he's just digging out everybody here. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. But haven't listened to what Roy, uh, uh, Rio uh, Ferdinand has to say about this. He did respond to what Jamie Carragher has said. Have a listen here. You called me out and listen, I, if I expected anybody to call me out on Twitter, it was you. And you, you, you beat anyone else that was capable to, to the punch. So I respect you for that. But you know what? On this this whole issue, um, you can't sit here and, and, and defend that from Cristiano Ronaldo because deep down, and I know for a fact, this has all been manufactured for one thing, and that's for him to leave the club. Like this, this love affair with Man United that Cristiano's had is now over in my eyes. I, I don't, I'd don't. i like to get your take on how you feel on it, but I don't feel that there's any way back. I don't feel that the club will take him back and I don't think that he wants to come back. I think that is give, a given. And I think this is all manufactured for that reason that he wants to get out of this place. No, no, I, t I totally agree. But, I mean, what, what I want to sort of ask you as well, though, I mean, th this is why I, I, I don't... People always, I think, have got the idea that I... I just want to talk about Rio Ferdinand's point there before I miss it. Uh, I totally agree with Rio Ferdinand here. Uh, you cannot defend what Cristiano Cristiano Ronaldo has done with that interview. But it's clear. I mean, it's pretty clear this whole thing was created for him uh, to leave in January after the World Cup. The love affair he has had with Manchester United is now over that is pretty clear to me i don't know about you guys but let me know down uh, uh down in the comment sections what you guys think about this but i i don't think he wants to be he wants to go back to manchester united i also don't think that the club will take him back this is crystal clear uh for everyone to see and they should have had this a uh, clear communication between the manager and the board and cristiano in the summer i don't think that has taken place and because of that, 
we have all this circus going around after us getting a massive win against Fulham. Let's continue to listen to what, I, I what he says. I like Cristiano Ronaldo being very critical of him. I, I was more critical of the club for bringing him in because I don't see how nobody saw this happening. How would you think it was ever going to end for Ronaldo at Man United? Because the player he is, he was never going to accept being a substitute. And at some stage, because of his age, he was going to have to be a sub. And that's come now. His first season on an individual level, he still scored about you know twenty five goals. He's fantastic, certainly in a team who weren't great and, and at his age as well. But I don't see when all that euphoria started when he first came in. I, I, I could see it a mile off. How it was always going to end like this. There was no other way this was going to end, and I couldn't yeah. believe. I I I, I know, I've heard you say that a few times, but you know my point was always, and you know it's like. Uh... Jamie, when you're in a club, if the manager doesn't or the, the club doesn't communicate with you properly, things can go left. I think you've got okay, and, and and someone like Cristiano, given what he's done in the game, he's in a place where he deserves that. So true. I mean, basically, what Rio is saying is what I mentioned over here that there needs to be a clear communication. Has that taken place? They should have had a clear communication between the manager, the board, and Cristiano in the summer, and I. I really don't think that has taken place. And like I mentioned earlier, because of that, we have this circus going around uh, after us winning a massive, massive game against Fulham. But anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on this matter? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this. Do you agree with Caraca? Do you agree with Rio Ferdinand? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment sections below. And don't forget to smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, if you guys are new and I will see you on the next one. Peace.